Question 59 is about the world energy use. We're told in 2005, the total amount of energy consumption was four times 10 to the 20 joules. Uh, we want to know uh, for part A, how many deuterium nuclei would be needed to produce this amount of energy if the fusion energy per uh, two deuterium nuclei is about four MeV per event. So again, this is 2D, two deuterium produces energy. So the number of deuterium nuclei would be the amount of energy total divided by you know, the amount of energy released per event. And I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this value by two, this n for deuterium nuclei, because we need two deuterium to produce this amount of energy. So if you multiply this whole term by two, that would give us the total number of deuterium that would be needed. So the to if we want a total energy consumption of four times 10 to the 20 joules, I'm gonna put the two up here and multiply this by two, divided by the energy per um, fission event, fusion event, sorry. I need to convert my denominator or divert, convert, sorry, one of them to joules or MeV. I'm just gonna convert my denominator to joules, multiplying that by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13 joules per MeV. And so I will see that I, my remaining unit is just the number of atoms or number of nuclei. And so by doing this, I can find that my total value would be 1.25 times 10 to the 33. Um, I'll go ahead and say nuclei. But because we are told initially we're just uh, we have four times 10 to the 20 joules, that's just one significant figure. So I should report my answer here for one significant figure as well. So one times 10 to the 33 nuclei. That's our answer for part A. Part B I'll put over here. And it asks to determine the volume of water. So if we have a density of our water, row here would be 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Um, we're told a couple of things actually, so I'm gonna write them all out. So the molar mass of water is just 18 grams per mole. And additionally, we're also told there's one deuterium atom for every 6,700 um, hydrogen atoms. So again, we wanna find the volume of water needed to produce, again, this total amount of energy. So the same number of nuclei that I mentioned, or that we found in part A. We're gonna do a couple of kind of conversions here. So if I want to find um, volume, well, we're given density, so that's a hint that I'm going to need the mass of water at some point as well. So if I can solve for the mass of water using this number of deuterium nuclei, then I should be able to find the volume which using the uh, density as well. So I know that the, my number of water molecules is, can be based on the mass of water over the molar mass of water times Avogadro's number. I can rearrange this to solve for the mass of water. So the number of water molecules multiplied by the molar mass of water divided by Avogadro's number. Well, the number of atoms of water, I know, well, I know how many deuterium are present, so that's one um, 1.25 times 10 to the 33. I won't use the rounded value because it's, it would be more accurate if I don't in the intermediate stages. I know that there are 1.25 times 10 to the 33 um, nuclei of deuterium. So my unit nuclei of deuterium. So how many would be present in water? Well, I know if I divide this by two, I divide it by two because there are two heliums, sorry, hydrogens, two hydrogen atoms per water. 
for one water molecule. And I multiply this by 6,700 because I know that there are 67 nuclei of hydrogen per nuclei of deuterium. So this is my little, my little ratios to convert from the number of deuterium that I found um, in part A. So the number of de deuterium nuclei will cancel out the number of hydrogen atoms. Sorry, my number of hydrogen atoms cancels out based on the ratio of hydrogen atoms to deuterium. My number of deuterium atoms cancel out again with that ratio. And I'm, what I'm left with is the number of water molecules because I'm divided by one over mo water molecules here. So I, my units do give me nuclei. Well, I say water nuclei, but really it's molecules of water. Molecules of water is my unit in here for this first part. I just need to multiply by the ma molar mass of 18 grams per mole. And so I can just divide this by Avogadro's number. And I know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 water molecules, water molecules per moles. And my units will here will cancel out. My units for grams cancel, so one over moles cancels, and I am just left with grams. And I can find that the total mass of water would be 1.25 times 10 to the 14 grams. And so now, because I know my volume is related to mass and density by taking the mass of water divided by the density of water, I can simply determine this to be 1.25 times 10. I'm going to say I'm going to divide this by 1,000. My answer above, so I have 1.25 to 10 to 11 kilograms. My unit difference from grams to kilograms here, so I divide by 1,000 just to match the units of my density, which were 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. My units for kilograms cancels out, and I am left a final answer of 1.25 times 10 to, the, 10 to the 8 cubic meters, meters cubed. And because we're this first part of this question, everything is given to us with two significant figures, so let's replace this with 1.3 times 10 to the 8 meters cubed as my final answer. And there you go. So the trickiest part of part B was to kind of recognize the situation, converting my units from what were given initially for uh, number of deuterium nuclei, noting that there are two hydrogen atoms per water, and taking into account the ratio provided in this question that there are 6,700 um, hydrogen atoms for every one deuterium nucleus. So Using this, we can convert from deuterium nuclei that we found in part A to the number of water molecules.